Hi everyone, IES is the leading professional lighting organization and Acuity Brands is proud to be a long-standing supporter of the Illumination Awards program. This event is a great time to celebrate the art and science of lighting and to recognize the professionals receiving these awards. So sit back and enjoy the program. Good morning and welcome to our 2020 Illumination Awards. We have some incredible projects to recognize today and I thank you for joining us for the big reveal. Things look a little bit different for our 47th Annual Illumination Awards and I can imagine for those of you that submitted projects, that February deadline seems so long ago. Our judges this year met in an online forum joining us for several hours from their desks across the country. The discussions were no less in depth and while in a different format than normal, everyone had a great time and enjoyed themselves. This year, our online judges reviewed over 680 projects, and of those projects, you'll shortly see highlights of 12 different awards that are being given today. Thank you to everyone who has supported our program throughout the year. The entrance to our judges at the section merit and final levels, and a special thanks to the committee who worked this summer to redefine the final judging process. Last, thank you to our sponsor from Acuity Brands. They've been an incredible support of the Illumination Awards for several years now. I know I'm going to miss the after party, the music, the dancing, and the light cubes that always get passed around. I cannot wait for all of us to be together in person next year at our Illumination Awards Gala and at our annual conference. For now, grab a cup of coffee and let's toast these following recipients. Our first award, a special citation for outdoor lighting design for the use of interactive technology is awarded to Night Garden Miami, Miami, Florida. Located on the Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden, Night Garden was a mile-long attraction featuring 21 distinct illuminated vignettes. Guests explored intimate enclaves, sweeping vistas, interactive elements, and decadent culinary venues while immersed in a rich soundscape. Congratulations to the Chris Warner Design Team. A special citation for interior lighting design for enhancing a strong architectural form is awarded to the Center for Health and Well-Being in Winter Park, Florida. This new wellness center houses fitness zones, classrooms, and community resources all linked by large commons with the soaring 44-foot high atrium. This undulating wood ceiling was a key architectural element, which led to the lighting team to carefully articulate the ceiling and highlight its dramatic form to ensure the feature's visibility from outside. The judges awarded this citation to recognize the sophisticated use of a linear fixture within an undulating ceiling. Congratulations to the Klein Beverage Bernstein Lighting Design Team. An award of excellence for energy and environmental lighting design is awarded to San Francisco International Airport Parking Garage in San Francisco, California. With a goal of zero net energy, this parking garage set out to counteract normal occupancy sensing challenges in typical garages. Here, 
Fixtures connect into a peer-to-peer self-healing mesh wireless network and communicate directly to adjacent fixtures. The elevator tower in this garage is an immersive art installation with magic mirror panels communicating in Morse code and color changing to convey kinetic elements that amplify the up and down movement of travelers. Congratulations to designers Max Pearson Leinard and Joanna Grawlander. The Zinzun Bao Experience Center in Luchao, China is awarded an award of excellence for outdoor lighting. A few of the challenges of this lighting design was to seek the common ground between architectural form and the natural environment to show solemnity and eternity of the building. Focus on the detail, enrich the visitor's experience, and ultimately achieve the unity of heaven and man. The pottery altar was designed to look like a sculpture and a work of art with customized LED light hidden in the building and being diffused through thousands of holes in the facade, while the glowing bridge was designed to look suspended within the dark mountain. Congratulations to the Branson Partnership Incorporated team. An award of excellence for interior lighting is awarded to Chicago Union Station Great Hall Restoration, Chicago, Illinois. The iconic Great Hall inside Chicago's Union Station was designed in 1925 and designated a Chicago landmark in 2002. A 42-month-long project was undertaken to provide substantial repairs and improvements to fix an aging skylight that caused water damage and deterioration. Since the feature element of the Great Hall is the skylight, the new lighting needed to play a supportive role. The end result was a combination of asymmetric cove lights on the second floor ledge with in-ground up lights at columns and fully restored original decorative chandeliers. The judges felt this simple solution completed the Great Hall and made it the kind of project that would not be the same without the lighting. Congratulations to the Charter Sills and Associates team. An award of excellence for interior lighting is awarded to the Confucian Palace in Keifu, China. Located in the birthplace of Confucius, this 65,000 square meter interior space was built to honor Confucius and his disciples. The judges felt this project was extremely sophisticated and that the coordination of the project this size is immense with respect to scale and coordination. Congratulations to the ATL Lighting Design Shanghai Company team. The Euphoria Retreat Spa Resort in Mistras, Greece is the next recipient of an award of excellence for interior lighting. The spa is the centerpiece of the Euphoria Retreat, a 3,000 square meter building carved into the base of the mountain. As the presence of daylight varies substantially from one space to another, a number of custom luminaires were designed to imitate daylight transitions, thus harmonizing the spaces and enhancing immersive architecture. The judges felt this project was very thoughtful, architecturally sensitive, and appropriate for the activities. Lighting combines with sound, temperature, humidity, textures, and smell to create an immersive sensory experience. Congratulations to the Ace Light team. An award of excellence for control innovation is awarded to the Jewel Chungi Airport, Singapore. A mixed-use development including gardens, retail shops, a hotel, and airport facilities is combined with a concept of creating a 24-hour amphitheater. 
The project began with aspirations to become a landmark with different expressions of light that gradually change according to the time of day. A strategic and large-scale lighting control system is used to address the various challenges of appropriate light levels for all activities. By dimming all the luminaires in unison for the lighting show at the Central Garden, controlling retail facade lighting during the light show, and to comply with the green building rating system. Congratulations to the Lighting Planners Associates team. The Riverfront Park Pavilion in Spokane, Washington is our next award recipient. A very unique project in the heart of downtown Spokane's Riverfront Park, the pavilion has been recognized by the judges with both an award of excellence for lighting control innovation and an award of distinction for outdoor lighting design. This uniquely illuminated form was modeled after the previous pavilion design created for the 1974 World's Fair. The lighting creates an inspiring beacon that can be seen from across the city, made of 479 custom blades in various lengths from 3 to 6 feet. The LEDs are independently programmable and interface with a variety of touchscreens, mixing consoles, and mobile mixing consoles for events. Congratulations to the NAC engineering team. An award of distinction for outdoor lighting design is awarded to the GTC Matrix Zagreb, Croatia. Matrix is a lead gold standard development in the central business districts. It challenged the designer to come up with a creative concept that had a simple installation. The solution was to use 360-degree blade optics to illuminate the Brie Soleil and thus create a secondary reflector. Congratulations to the Skira Architectural Lighting Team. Relighting of the interior of the Norwich Cathedral, Norwich United Kingdom is awarded an award of distinction for interior lighting design. Indicating the Norwich Cathedral is an incredible use of vertical illumination the judges believed this lighting design achieved the goals and requirements of the project. Consideration of the spiritual aspects of the building formed the design team's foundation. A flexible background level of light is layered with highlights, providing focus on key liturgical elements and objects of religious and cultural significance. Infrastructure is provided to manage levels at each entrance and for concerts and community events. 
The last layer of electric light is designed to subtly express the soaring architectural volumes, preserving the spirit of the cathedral as it has been enjoyed for centuries. Congratulations to the Spears and Major LLP team. Congratulations once again to all the 2020 Illumination Award recipients and for all their success and hard work. Thank you to Acuity Brands for sponsoring our opening event for this year's conference. Well, unfortunately, we can't be together for the program this year, but we've got a really fun trivia program that we're going to do now. So tweet your answers to the hashtag on the screen. How many streetlights are in the United States alone? Looking globally, how many streetlights are in the world? Of all the A lamps in the inventory, what percentage do you believe are incandescent? This one's a toughie. What is the brightest city and the darkest city from space? 